he saved my life mental health wise if i'm being completely honest like can i be completely totally. honest about something sure. it seemed to me like in america it's like fashionable or trendy in a lot of women's mind right to say that they have mental illnesses and i didn't really understand it until my son came from college and said mom i'm not going to date american girls because everybody either on xanax or or any psychiatric pills everybody talk about their mental illness nobody thrive to be normal anymore everybody just ride on that crazy horse it's ridiculous i mean i don't like That's claim so crazy but it, what's normal though i mean and i've been to rehab twice so and we're basically i don't yeah, disrespect your addict because i used to work with addicts just a second i'm speaking i'm not disrespecting you being an addict but i just think when you live and surround yourself by women that always talk about their mental illness and the pills they're taking you're gonna stay in this paradigm of loop of being mm -hmm. psycho. But if you surround yourself by women who don't talk about their mental illness mm -hmm. and then being a mother and have to do all hands and all this, sorry, bull then you're gonna become more normal and stabilized. I actually stabilized. think it's healthy to speak about your mental illness yeah. because I think the more we With talk one about person, it, the more people are gonna not feel ashamed about it. It's not it's about literally. being ashamed, you lost my, wait, wait a second. You, Sorry, I'm not dis yeah, disregard yeah, no. what you're saying, but it's really important for me that you understand my point. Okay. When you, it's okay to talk about your mental illness, but when you surround yourself in a society which is happening, I'm not originally American, thank God I'm American now, but when I sit in so many type of society in America, right, surrounding American, by American women, only they talk about Xanax, mental illness, bed childhood, that's, that's this, that. That's not what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, I, have a show, I created a show called Shirley's Temple with a focus on mental health so celebrities could come on and talk about their experiences, talk about how therapy helped them or didn't help them, talk about how they got their life together. I shouldn't be alive The healing right now. journey. It's basically so the I'm, it's amazing I'm, I'm, that you do I'm that. here to tell people that you need to take care of your mental health. It's amazing that and you do that. that. And I, I feel you. Like You don't want to... People throw around the word depression, anxiety, all the time but because when you talk about it you just bring it into your life instead of saying yes I was through a little issue just a second I was <laughs> on a little bit of issue because she's jumping every two seconds don't be a parent Thank let you. me speak so uh, when you uh, uh, put yourself surrounding with women that all the time all the time talk about their mental illness you're gonna stay but mentally you're, you're ill saying about it you're talking about it in a negative way you're talking about pills and Xanax what does that have to do with mental health if you're an addict maybe you what are you talking with about when Xanax. you when you I'm take talking pills. about the regular person who hasn't tried pills or Xanax there's no regular Everyone people everybody taking pills in this country that's I've not never true. Seen I've, not I've, true I've struggled with my mental health oh my for God. 20 Everybody's years and I never took anything <laughs> but a lot of people a lot of women I here. feel bad for the people because I was that person too I was addicted to pills. Prometheus so, 73 donated $200. Desiree mm -hmm. has narcissistic personality disorder. Oh. Has yeah. to be center of attention always and will gaslight yes. anyone anytime. Mm -hmm. But then That's says sorry but can't STF you. Hmm. Yeah, $200. They say they. Uh, yo, Prometheus, thank you for the TTS. Desiree, do you have a quick response to TTS? And I'll, well, I'll have you guys continue. Some people call me autistic and some people call me narcissistic. <laughs> there you go. So. It is whatever your view. Are you diagnosed is. with autism? If you yes, can. yes, moderate autism. But I'm of the genius savant type, so my IQ is 145. So you're oh my god, god. <sighs> what's it out of? Word. Are you There's diagnosed no as a media savant? Um, Einstein. Einstein was around 140. Desiree. But you you're not Einstein, and you're not idiot savant. No, I'm if Desiree. You, if you are an idiot savant, Definitely. you should be diagnosed by that. And savant is actually a genius, and you're not obviously. <laughs> I, an I am literally fan. diagnosed. What is an autistic I person? I love her. Do you know autistic? I love me too. No, I'm asking you, what is an autistic person? What What's is an autistic, autistic person? It's a neurodivergence. It's a form of neurodivergence where basically my whole nervous system is much more sensitive than a typical person. I would say that has nothing to do with it. I'm definitely diagnosed with autistic. And that has nothing to do with Wait, it. It's one of them. You're autistic? Yeah. Sh just raise your hands. Are you you're, autistic? You're <laughs> Show of hands. Can we get an autism and, check? And narcissistic. Um, um, uh, how autism, autism. autism check. Autism. Yo, narcissistic chat. and chat. autistic. One in the chat if you're autistic. Either Two in the or, chat or if you're not or. autistic. One in the chat if, if you're you autistic. If you have nervous system problems, he's a... Just autism check, real quick. Check. Okay. Oh um, you I guys were having a back and forth. Go ahead. Can, Go ahead. You want me to say something? Yeah, continue. You guys. Can I want to. I want to say something to you. I'm not against you. Don't don't get me wrong. But I want to say something. I saw your interview with him a couple times, and Mine? I see. How, no, no, her. Oh, I was like. Wait. And I see. No, not you. Okay. And I see how Wait. you talk today. And I'll be honest with you. A woman to a woman, right? I'm not judging you. Just from seeing you know, a lot of things around me. I think you're a good person with a good heart. I just think that you're surrounded by people that feed 
your, your disease of narcissism by talking about yourself all the time, explaining all the time, interrupting all the time, thinking you know everything all the time. Nothing goes around and you. Just a second. And I think if you step out of that paradigm for a minute and just listen and absorb instead of talking about yourself all the time and put yourself in a center in a, such a negative way and think like you know it all, I think it's going to heal you and it's going to open your mind and expand you as a person mm -hmm. To see yourself and absorb yourself from the side. Because when a person always thinks, I'm this and I'm this and I'm this and this, he doesn't realize how people absorb him. Mm -hmm. And you come into a situation like you came with him last time or with the other guy, Jason. Mm -hmm. Jason? Uh, Andrew. Which is Andrew, sorry. Andrew. Last time. <laughs> and then these things stay forever yeah. online and people can see it. And you made embarrassment out of yourself and out of your kids. And you should not do it because I think you're a good-hearted person. So I actually agree with you, and I would call that my masculine shield. So I developed that defense mechanism. It's actually an intimacy issue. So when I feel like not safe in an environment, I put up that cockiness or the condescendence or thinking that I know it all or have to figure it all out. So I totally agree with you, and it's not my best self. I really do appreciate the feedback. And this show has been a great like learning lesson for me. I personally haven't felt embarrassed by any of it. My kids haven't been embarrassed by it. So uh -huh. the embarrassment would be a projection. Can but I, I say what something? You're but I can I, what you're can saying, I respond though. to this specifically? Sure. You might don't think that your kids would be embarrassed, but I want to tell you something. Your kids grow up with you. You are the role model. Okay, you are the mother for your son. I don't know if you have sons, but for your son, you are the I first do. woman in his life. You are the model of the next. 10 women or 20 women, whatever he's going to have in his life. So he right? thinks the world of me. Wait a second. He thinks the world of you now. But I have a, my son is almost 22 years old. Okay? So your kid's going through steps. When, when your son is going to be 25 or 26 or 40, and they're going to look back because life in life, you, only, you can only live life forward and, and understand them backwards. You don't want to look back backwards to your life right? And then say, oh my God, I made a fool out of myself. And then your son going to grow up and see these things on the media and think, what the hell? This is the woman I was looking up to? No, actually, the way that I see it is that my children look back at my more messy times of life and they feel able to be open with me because they see my humanness and my process. And I explain to them all along the way, you know what? God, I was a shit show in that season. I am so sorry, you guys. In fact, the kids talk about, my son brings this up often. He said, mom, remember when you first left dad and we lived in a different place like every four months? And I was like, oh God, here's the trauma coming. I'm going to have to like apologize. Ten and seconds. what he said is, actually, that was so fun, mom. It was super fun. Like I never knew where we were going to go, but we you know why they say it's cool. super fun. You want to know why they say it's super fun? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, so, I'll, I'll just move it. I have to move on. Sorry, guys. Desiree, you're not a savant. You're crazy, delusional, and insanely narcissistic. The only thing that's 140 plus is your body count. You need help. Love you, Sheena. Day, please listen, not just hear her. Quick response to that, but I do have to move on. Okay. I mean, everybody's I think, crazy in some Wait, eyes. let me say, what you're saying, all these little remarks you're saying, it's literally your uh, uh, mechanism, your defense mechanism to, gener to, to justify it in your own brain. When you say, oh, my son, you say it in kind of like funny, laughy way, like it's okay, like you legitimize mm -hmm. it. You literally, this is your defense mechanism to feel mm -hmm. okay about what's going on. You need to go, or and maybe it's what actually yeah, happened, something. and I don't think my friend's yeah, a liar, I feel so like, I don't think he would uh, have I'm even sorry, guys. It up. I do have to move it <laughs> on. We can't, we, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I have oh, to no, move no, on. 